guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Guardians of the Galaxy, issue 12, and this is part four out of six of Trials of Jean Grey, so we're more than halfway done with this story arc, but we really haven't accomplished much yet. Uh, but before I start talking about Guardians of the Galaxy, just want to give you guys a little update. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 37, and that is a show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And we got Furious issue 2 as an exclusive comic. Powerpuff Girls issue 6, which I also have a kitty corner for, so I have a separate in-depth review. Also talk about why it's kid-friendly, uh, so you can check that out on Comic Frontline also. We have Wolverine issue 2. The Wake issue 6. And the Flash issue twenty eight. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, uh, go to Comic Frontline uh, and Comic Uno episode thirty seven, which will be annotated. Also have other things to promote. Um, we did Media Madness yesterday for Team Wolf season one episode one and season two episode one. And if you want to recommend a TV show or movie for us to watch next, you could check out that video. Leave a comment for us for what what video for what TV show or movie you want us to watch next. Um, also. Contest! We got a contest on my channel where I'm giving away uh, this DVD and a couple other comic book stuff. So that's actually ending tomorrow. So be sure to enter that uh, before it ends and I announce the winner. So uh, be sure to check that out. That'll be annotated. And uh, also check out the contest for Comic Frontline, which is ending um, Wednesday. So be sure to check that out because you can win a Green Lantern statue, which looks beautiful. So definitely check that out. Uh, but let's talk about Guardians of the Galaxy issue 12. And again, remember to check out all those annotations. Um, yeah, so we get to see Jean Grey is with Gamora on the cover. That doesn't really happen in this issue. But really cool art. I'm pretty sure Sarah Pacelli does the art for the cover also. Even though I don't really love Jean's facial expression. She's just like... <laughs> so, uh, pretty cool art though. And uh, was I really anticipating this issue? I'll say no, because uh, Trials of Jean Grey has been eh so far. Um, nothing has been totally accomplished in this series. But let's see if the, in this issue we get some accomplishments or some good character moments. Um, so, in this issue we get to see a little bit of Scott's past, which we've seen plenty of times before, but his father's alive, we knew that because, um, the older Scott has seen, um, his father before, and now this younger Scott, or first class Scott, has to deal with this all over again. Uh, so it's nice to see the father-son reaction, and there's gonna be a solo series with him, so I'm sure after Guardians of the Galaxy it's gonna make sense why he has his own series. Uh, then we get to see the continuation of Trials of Jean Grey, where Jean has to go, um, really defend herself, but she, her, ol her older self and other self killed a lot of people, and, uh, killed one of the people that she trapped, or the people that's trapping her right now and putting her on trial, killed one of their members, so, and a person they love, so, uh, it doesn't look so great for Jean right now. Uh, and that's pretty much it that happens in the, this issue. It's mostly Cyclops and Jean, uh, some good moments there. Some Kitty Pride moments, but really her just flirting with, uh, with Peter there, which is kind of cool. Kitty does deserve somebody. And that's it. You know, still not accomplishing much, uh, much, but at least we get to see her on trial, which I'm like, this issue could have been all of her on trial. That would have been great. Uh, but I guess they're just waiting for all new X-Men to put her on trial. I, I really feel like we should at least have one issue with her only in trial. Uh, I think that would make this story arc a little bit better. Uh, yeah, still um, not a lot happening here. And there were some good character moments, but not like all new X-Men. And even though it's the same writer. Um, so you would think there would be moments like this. But uh, all new X-Men, there's like maybe two really good scenes. And you're, you're really enthralled in it. You're like... Oh my god, that was actually a really good character moment. And you get maybe a little tiny bit character moments here, like when um, X-23 hugs Cyclops, or when Cyclops, uh, Cyclops' past memory was really good, and when he encountered his father. Uh, but then there are some boring spells, honestly, with the villains. I'm just like, I really don't care what your motives are. I just want to see what's going on with Jean right now. Uh, so there's a lot of kind of boring parts with that. The art's obviously good, uh, but yeah, this is not progressing that much. There's some good character moments uh, here, but still, it's worth picking up, but not the best issue. Uh, from this series so far. Uh, I'm gonna give this a three and a half. Uh, didn't think it was bad, but didn't think it was so great either. So, gonna give it a three and a half. Still worth picking up though. Um, hopefully, hopefully with the next two issues, we'll get a little bit more progression with the story arc. To say, hey, Trials of Jean Grey was worth it. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and their end situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.